I feel that I have contributed to the building of something that is really important, and it gives you a sense of self-worth. UT Austin has always been strong in computer science for as long as I can remember. I think one of the things that's most uh, interesting slash exciting to me about the UT computer science department is they're highly ranked across the nation, and so uh, I, I take a lot of pride in that association with a department and school that has that kind of prestige. I believe that computer science can change the world. I believe it is changing the world. And I believe that we can change the world faster and better and in different ways when we can get more people to the table to tell us what needs to be changed. The computer science department, when it was first formed in 1966, was almost all a collection of part-time people from other disciplines. Think Woody Budslow and Norman Martin and John Lohman, Bob Gregory, David Young. These were all people who were from other disciplines. The computer science department has a long history of outgrowing every building and every facility that's been assigned to us. This is the first time we've ever had, the second time we've ever had enough space. To begin with, we were just had a few places in, in the odd building like Wagner and Garrison. And then in 1972, as a condition for becoming department chairman, I told them I would become department chairman again if they would give the department enough space in one building to house the entire department. And so they gave us a, what was at that time enough space in what is now, what was at that time, the physics building was just overhauled. I had an office in Painter Hall and to get network connectivity, one would physically go to a patch board and look if there's an empty port, a plug that, isn't, that someone else isn't already using and plug my terminal into the empty port. And as soon as I was uh, done uh, using the network, it was my obligation to go unplug. That wasn't that long ago. Uh, but that was the facilities we had at the time. In 1984, we moved into the renovated Taylor Hall, and that was a great building. We had enough space in there for everybody. And then we outgrew that and had people all over the place. And so that led Jay Moore to do a wonderful job of creating the funding and the organization and the motivation for getting this great building together. And Jay ought to get a really big amount of credit for that. This building gave us all a home together. And we would have been happy in those early days before this building came along. We would have been happy just having a big box to live in together. But instead of that, we got this fantastic facility that's almost like living in an art museum. I think the most significant moment was when we got the undergraduate major approved. And the reason is because at that time we got approval for quite a few new staff, new faculty. And we were really lucky, that was a great time to hire, and we were able to hire some really talented, capable people at that time. Jay Misra, Manny Chandy, uh, Simon Lamb, the people that are still here are just retired. That was the first generation of really nationally visible people. And, and we, we had some visionaries. Al Matson, Norman Hackerman, George Kosmetsky, who were not in a part of the department, but part of university leadership. Uh, and then later on, in later generations, Peter Flong. So that was it. Visionary people. Well, I joined the department in 1984, the same year that Edsker Dykstra joined the department. Just uh, the opportunity to um, be in the same space as the great master was uh, a memorable experience. 
but we also um, talked frequently and I enjoyed those conversations very much. The challenge that we all face in computer science as professionals, practicing professionals, is dealing with complexity. And Edsker had a clear vision of how that should be done. It should be done through careful use of language, formal languages as well as English, and very careful, rigorous thought. He didn't use computers himself, but he was a he had deep insight into issues of complexity and how to uh, combat uh, complexity through tactics like the use of abstraction. Another transformative phase or period in our department's history was the 90s when this department made the wise investment in uh, experimental systems research. And we rebuilt, really from ground zero, an experimental systems group that consisted of Lorenzo Alvisi, who's still with us today, Herrick Vinn, who's unfortunately moved on, and some other outstanding young faculty. And that uh, not only brought those um, great people into our community, but it also set a new tone, set our department on a new path, or at least a broader path. Today, we're in a beautiful new space. We have uh, supercomputers around us. We have a fantastic visualization lab. Um, we take for granted things like uh, wireless all across campus. So, noch ist es leer, aber oh, der ist gut. Der ist nicht so schlecht. Oh. UTCS is constantly changing, constantly improving, and constantly challenging both us and the faculty here um, to becoming better and more advanced and more innovative. It's really a lot of unique individuals coming together and somehow we're all bonded by like not only our creative interest but like our love for computer science and what it can do. They provide a lot of resources for students to explore uh, their interests out of uh, class and it's really helped me grow as a person as well. Personally, being at UTCS has been really important to me. I felt like I've learned a lot of skills uh, and gained a lot of maturity from an academic point of view and research point of view uh, that have helped me in all the jobs that I've had since I've left UT, uh, whether those jobs have been more research oriented or more engineering oriented. I've seen myself grow, especially as a computer scientist and critical thinker, tremendously in the last year. Like what I'm able to do now versus what I was able to do last August or September is completely different. I mean, thanks to UTCS, I was able to land an internship with Microsoft, and I enjoyed that experience. And I see myself growing not only as a student, but as an individual. And I'm finding myself having more confidence, not only in the classroom, but in extracurriculars, and finding that ability to go out into the community and lead. I think that this department will only continue to improve because of its dedication to understanding the research that's out there that's that's talking about how we should change our curriculum to better serve students, to understand how we should change um, our environment to better serve uh, students. You remember the phrase, the handmaiden of the sciences? Mathematics was the handmaiden of the sciences. Now, computer science is the handmaiden of all almost all academic disciplines, not to mention business enterprises. Uh, so that's, I think the future of computer science is the handmaiden of all intellectual activity. I am so honored to be part of this department's 50 year history. In the 30 years that I've been here, from that experience I can tell you that our previous 50 years have merely set the stage for what is a tremendous next century. I'm so excited to see what our faculty and students are gonna come up with next.